Hello friends, uh, in this uh, series of uh, education for uh, PGs, today we will meet Dr. Raju Giridi who is a fetal medicine specialist in Betadur Super Specialty Hospital, Raichur. So he is going to tell us about the probes of ultrasound in gynecus and how they should be used and what is their frequency and how they interchange between them and in which conditions he will use different pro uh, probes. Hi Raju. Please tell us about the kind of probes uh, you are using in your machine. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Uh, basically, this is what we call as an ultrasound unit. Uh, this has the monitor and the other complex boards here. But what is more important in an ultrasound or USG machine are the probes. Uh, these are the most important things where we actually get the uh, frequencies which are later transmitted to this motherboard and they create something what is called as images. So we have various different types of probes for which for I will try to discuss which are very important for us in our daily obstetrics and gynec ultrasounds. First, uh, we have our uh, these are convex ultrasound probes. So this uh, the the conventional ones they are between five to seven or eight hertz. So these convex ultrasound probes try to uh, give imaging which are of in depth. For example, when you try to do a transabdominal sonography, these will give uh, in depth up to 15 to 20 centimeters. But whereas in this also you have higher frequency probes, what we have uh, which we use in our fetal medicine, where are, they are up to 9 megahertz and uh, 8 to 9 megahertz, they have better imaging quality. Uh, in, and after that, what we have is the linear probes. Linear probes, they don't have a curvy, curvy linear. Uh, structure but they are uh, straight enough and uh, these linear probes are actually high frequency probes they are they range from 9 to 11 so what is the difference between these two probes basically is that as we know ultrasound is the frequency above our uh, hearing aid hearing range so these probes are designed such that you have this piezoelectric crystals which are there inside these probes which when an electric stimulus is transmitted to that the piezoelectric crystals which uh, make vibrations will bring out the echoes frequency higher frequencies which in in, in depending upon the depth of the uh, uh, the tissues we have they have the reflections and that they are generated so higher frequency probes what we have are more important for those which are at superficial structures for example this probe is better when we are trying to see and superficial structure from the uh, base of, uh, from the basal layers of the skin to the rectus and up to the superficial most parts especially in fetal medicine you can use these probes in uh, when the baby is prone and you want to study the spine in more detail whereas convex probes I explained to you these probes will help us in having more deeper penetrations uh, rather than the so, so, so more the frequency lesser the uh, penetration Similarly, we have what we have called these as uh, endo uh, endo probes. Uh, this now we can for us we call it as endo vaginal probe. These are also higher frequency probes. In these case, this is this will range up to nine to eleven megahertz. So these having higher frequency, the near uh, body uh, near body parts are well uh, well imaged in this, and that is why a transvaginal sonography plays a very important role in the gynec evaluation and understanding the anatomy. Uh, better with the transvaginal probes. So we have one more uh, other special probes that we call as volume probes. These are also convex probes, but they are higher frequency. They, we also call them as volume probes. The reason is that they create a lot of multiple 2D echoes and that which can have a gen we can create a 3D imaging on that. These probes also range from between uh, 8 to 10 megahertz and this is around 9 megahertz. So now so it all depends on uh, which basic structure you have to study and what probes you have to use. So if you want to have a basic uh, uh, ultrasound for uh, for a gynec evaluation transabdominally, go for your curvilinear probes. And in that, if you ha want to have a better imaging with, with respect to fetal, uh, uh, with respect to superficial structures, go for higher frequency probes. And if you want to look for, like example, in scar endometriosis or in case of uh, uh, any uh, lesion that is there in the sub at the level of rectus and all then go for linear probes so endovaginal probes as i've already told you though uh, this plays a very important role in understanding your uh, gynec evaluation with respect to uterus and the ovaries 
and uh, when you want to go ahead with uh, 3D, uh, go with the volume flows that is also a convex probe. Thank you, Raju. Thank you for your detailed uh, description. And in next consequent videos, we will ask him to demonstrate uh, the usage of each probe uh, with the images of ultrasound. Thank you very much, Raju. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much.